All right, so SCCM is running right now. In this um, few first videos, we're going to work on SCCM server right here. Uh, domain controller, we're going to come back to it. This is another extra server that we would probably need to just kind of do testing, but mostly we'll be working on the SCCM right here. So let's go ahead and open the SCCM server. And go ahead and open the RDP. You can also just type that IP address. Of course, you're going to be using your setup not this setup. So job skill share help this. And we're the remember I'm just opening the server and doing a very uh, initial setup for like disks and stuff like that. I'm not even um, you know adding any usernames and um but it, the like you know the recommended usernames and things like that so that's something we're going to discuss in the next videos um, right now as you can see my server is on this is where everything I have everything on this server now as you can see in this server I have already downloaded files which I am going to tell you, say that in in a few seconds I'm going to show you guys where I uh, I have uh, downloaded all these files so you will need all these files on your server so let's go ahead and open that um, let me make sure everything is correctly done here okay so as you can see on this server nothing else is running just basic um, you know file and storage services there's nothing else that's running on this server it is connected to the domain controller so you want to make sure that's correct so let's go ahead and click on properties as you guys can see the memory that I gave 64 bit and it is connected to SCCM jobsclashare.org is connected so that's good that's confirmed now what we want to confirm is we added some disk do you see that disk in there so let's go ahead oh okay so you don't see the disk what do you do how do you add those disks to if you have if you're using one server for this whole SCCM installation now one thing I would like to tell you guys that um, some people have a different approach on this and uh, some experts basically suggest that you should use if you have like you know if you're using a primary server which I'm going to discuss that later on but if you're using if you have like 300 400 or 1000 2000 5000 10,000 people you should be using one server for everything now some people might come say no that shouldn't be done this way and all that the reason is that if you have less people because your primary this there's, there's a different levels of installation in this we're gonna do primary server first primary site so that can take up to hundred thousand clients okay from that version one server so if something goes wrong you can always back up the whole server take a snapshot of it and recover everything in few minutes if you are using two different servers or three different servers for different type of uh, features for example you have SQL server on one server and a SQL uh, on and an installation of the console manager uh, the whole manager on another server so if one goes down you need to do the restore and you can have problems with databases if the database goes down then you're gonna have to restore that so there's a lot of management then so this is why I say one server is always great if you have that many people but if you have more than hundred thousand people then yeah you need to plan this out pretty good and that's something we're gonna go in very the ending of this course where we get to some really advanced stuff okay so how do you add those disks that we have added right now what you need to do is to just go to your uh, search and in your in your um, server you might not see I'm using a classic shell start menu right here I went in online and typed classic shell downloaded that and now I can use it just like normal uh, windows but if you see your server you might see something like this you click on it you will see something like this so you right click on it and go to search and you'll see that on the right side and type disk okay we'll just do a search for disk management so as you can see what we have here is it's initializing um, the disk that I have added here in this server 
Now you see that it's not showing all of this because I have already did that first when I started the server. So I, when I added a new disk, which was the disk five, it's basically picked up on that and that hey, there's a new disk. What do you want to do with this? I'm going to click OK on that so it gets added to my server. As you can see, I have disk one disk 2, disk 3, disk 4, disk 5, but they're all unallocated. So I need to make sure that they can show up right here. So what we need to do is we need to work on this. We're going to click on right click on disk 1. We're going to say new simple volume. Next, next. We're going to give it let's say E drive. Next and next and click OK. And so now what will happen? You will see that disk will show up right here. Now later on I will change the names to like program files, content library, SQL Server log, SQL Server database. But just to quickly do this, I can just go over this and get every disk added to my server. So let's do that. And you can see we added another one. And I'm going to go to this one and finish off all of these disks. So once it's done, I will uh, resume my video again. So I have all the disks added and now I can basically rename them and just, you know, type, let's say this is going to be all SQL logs. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Um, and go to this one, SQL database. You could also rename this by right clicking, go to properties and change it from here. So as you guys can see, I have SQL log, SQL database and SCCM program files. And I left the C drive, which is your, my server operating system files. I left that alone. So this is why we need different disks. You could put everything in one place, but that's not a good idea. This one, we will use it later in our uh, setup. So we are done with this part. Now, how did I get all these files? So let's go ahead and check that out. Click on these files. So these are the files that you would need. And later in our course, as we go to different sections, we will need more and more files. As you guys can see, I have installed um, the SQL Server, uh, sorry, the installation for the Config Manager, which is 2012 R2. Um, and this one, let me just make sure I open it and show you guys. This is the one that I'm going to be using installation for the first one, which is more than one GB right here. And then we need to do an update, an upgrade on top of this one. So we're going to install 2012 SP2, and then we're going to upgrade it to R2 SP1. That's SP2, it's 2012 SP2. This is 2012 R2 SP1. So two things you will learn from this. First, you will learn the fresh installation you know, how to install SCCM and then you will learn how to upgrade it also so if we come across some issues which is which will be great because then you'll see uh, these issues hands-on then we need a SQL Server so I'm using SQL Server 2012 SP2 and this is the update and there's a whole list actually there's a really nice documentation from Microsoft and you definitely will be needing that to kind of know uh, what are the features and what works with what so if you're using something else you're definitely going to come across some kind of error so you need to check that documentation it, it is a very long documentation but it's pretty good then we're going to need Microsoft Deployment Toolkit which is 2013 I think it's update 2 yet yeah, it's right here when you click on it um, and then we need an ADK set of Win 10 and to, to get it, it's pretty easy, you know, you, you just need to install it, um, go into your browser um, to get all these files. Some of them, you need a Microsoft account to go to Microsoft um, uh, download evaluation link. So you get like 120 days to practice on these. So definitely, you know, you have a lot of days to practice. So for example, if you want to install ADK, just type ADK. Uh, Windows 10 and you just click that and click on the download right here and it will take you to the download page from here like for example you can 
click on this right here, Download Kitten Tools for Windows 10. Or if you don't want to do it by that blog, you can just type download. And it should take you to the download page. Um, let me see if this is the one. Mm, yep. Get Windows ADK for Windows, for Windows 10 right here. So you go in there and just download it. The same way you do the other ones like Microsoft uh, MDT. You just type MDT 2013 update 2 and then you click on the download and it should take you to the download page like this. You click on download and then you take if your server is 64 bit I'm sure it's going to be 64 bit so click on that and then install that. For this specific uh, software you need that. And to get the SQL server, you just type SQL. And then to get this stuff, other stuff, I would recommend you to get it from the Evaluation Center. So let's say, for example, you want to get the SCCM Config Manager. And then you want to get the 2012, or just type download here. I think it's much easier. So it says right here, Try System Center 2012 Configuration Manager. When you click on it, what will happen, you will get to this uh, site right here. And this is what you will need to get all these ISO files, okay? So you click on sign in here. And you'll sign in to your uh, email for Microsoft, Hotmail, Outlook, anything that you have for Microsoft. So once you sign in, as you can see right here, the System Center R2012 R2, when you click on that, you'll get the registration to continue. You click on that, and you'll get your information. Let's continue. Oops, it requires my information, so let me fix that. You'll put your information from your email. So this is the one that I downloaded, SP1 Config Manager, and then the other one is R2 SCCM. So you want this one, we want, sorry, this one, and we want this one. It's kind of confusing. You, you have to make sure you download the right stuff. So this is the SP2, and this is R2 SP1. And I have it right here, SP2 and R2 SP1. So this is it for this video. In the next video, we are going to start our installation and process the reason I wanted to go this because it is super confusing for new learners that how did you get this? How did how did you came to this point where you say go okay you know we're gonna go ahead and put it in this disk and this desk. This is why uh, for some people this might be a little you know too much. Okay I went through I should have just started but remember we're doing this for people who wants to learn this in a way that they can start jobs not just you know do some videos and finish it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel um, and support us. And I'll see you guys in a different video. Thank you. And sorry if I was a little slow in talking. That's because I'm fasting. <laughs> so forgive me. And hopefully after three days the fasting will be over. And I will be very energetic. Thank you.